Thank you for joining us here again on Pre TV. We're really grateful when any time you come alongside of us and you click on those links and and if you want to you can subscribe or you can turn on the notifications or you can share these videos with other people and that always is a blessing for us because we then are able to reach more folk and be able to share and pray together today i have charlotte here with me in the studio glad to have you dear thank you brant as always it's really a joy to be here today and we are very grateful for the consistency that God has in His Word that is really the foundation upon which any of us begin our day in prayer. And so we encourage you to come alongside of us. And in today's portion of Scripture, we're taking it from Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 11 through 15. And we're reading from the NIV version of the Bible. And actually, today's portion of Scripture, being four verses, is a little bit more than we usually read. But I want for us just to really capture the sense of God's care for us. Every one of us are like his sheep, and he loves us, and he cares for us. And so just enter into that as we read this portion of Scripture. It says, For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself will search for my sheep and look after them as a shepherd looks after his scattered flock. When he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they have scattered on the day of clouds and darkness. I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their land. I will pasture them on the mountains of Israel, in the ravines, and in all the settlements in the land. I will tend them in a good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel will be their grazing land. There, will, there they will lie down in good grazing land, and there they will feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will tend my sheep and have them lie down, declares the Sovereign Lord. Charlotte, maybe you just bring a little bit of your comment and insight onto this very special portion of Scripture. So we know that this was a prophetic word in a literal sense by Ezekiel that was fulfilled in May of 1948 when Israel became a nation and when the scattered Jews all around the world came back to a homeland, a place of their own. But there is an even broader, I think, interpretation of this in the sense that as you were reading that portion, Brand, I was really um, taken with the action verbs in it, that God's care is so intentional. This passage talks about searching and rescuing his sheep. It talks about gathering us as his sheep and bringing us to a place of nourishment, a pasture. It talks about how God himself tends us as his sheep. And we know that analogy is used throughout scripture that Jesus used it too as being the good shepherd and the good shepherd would look after his sheep. I just can't help but marvel today at the intentional care of God. When you look at this, that He seeks, He searches. He doesn't scatter, the enemy scatters. But God takes care of us. He brings us to a place in Him where we can be nourished, where we can be strengthened. And I love even David's psalm, Psalm 23, that he restores our souls. He leads us by still waters. He brings us to that place of just complete contentment in his presence. And so as we just pray today, 
May we come into that place. May we, we, we respond to the Good Shepherd who cares for us, who intentionally cares, who tends us, who cares for us like a shepherd. And may we just hear his voice today. You know, I'm going to just read just the latter portion of this text. And so I want to focus there as we get ready to pray. It says, I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered. On a day of clouds and darkness, I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries. And I will bring them into their own land. I will pasture them on the mountains of Israel and in the ravines and in all the settlements in the land. I will tend them in a good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel will be their grazing land. There they will lie down in good grazing land and there they will feed in a rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will tend my sheep and have them lie down, declares the Sovereign Lord. Charlotte, maybe you'd begin our time of prayer and then I'll kind of wrap it up. Lord, we just pray to, today, God, our hearts, Lord, just rejoice in you and in the care that you afford us, Lord, as our Good Shepherd. We thank you, God, for these intentional ways that you care for us, that you do seek us out, that you do rescue us, Lord. When we find ourselves just in barren places, you seek us out and you bring us again, Lord. You carry us, as your word says, you carry us like a shepherd in your arms and you bring us to a place, God, of safety you tend to us, you, you take care of us, such good care of us, Lord. And we are so grateful today. We pray, God, for those who may feel very isolated today, who may feel like they're just in a very tough spot where no one cares. But Lord, you care, you care deeply. And Lord, may we just respond to you and experience that great care, that intentional care that you love us with today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And Father, as we continue to seek you, we ask, Lord, that you would just help us be able to settle into that right posture. Lord, we're not goats, we're sheep. We are your bride, Lord. We are that which you have deep and powerful affection for. Father, we pray that our very souls will rest confidently in following you. And therefore, we are able to settle all of the issues that would be destabilizing to us. Lord, we know that your word says we all like sheep have gone astray. We've gone everyone into his own way. But that you have searched for us and you have found us and you are bringing us back to your heart. And so, Lord, when we come back to your heart, we find nourishment. We find a place of belonging. We find good pasture land. We find plenty to eat and drink. And so, Lord, we thank you that you're doing that for your people this very hour. And I ask, Lord, that you will grant to your children the ability to rest in your arms. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.